Dr. Oz went on his show. Dr. Mehmet Oz said his team did a study. 36 juice samples, five leading brands, found 10 samples when, with higher than approved levels of arsenic. Well, parents see that headline, apple juice, arsenic, and from a respected doctor like Dr. Oz, what are they going to switch now to grape juice? Here's what Dr. Oz told our Robin Mead. We went around the country and we pulled apple juice off shelves and ran it through our laboratory. Uh, it's an incredible lab that does a lot of work for industry. And we found uh, that in about 30% of the samples, we had more arsenic in the apple juice than, than is allowable in the drinking water. All right, now there is an FDA response. Just getting it in. It's saying there's no evidence of any public health risk from drinking these juices, and the FDA has been testing them for years. That's from the FDA. Uh, the Juice Products Association, they questioned Dr. Oz's uh, methods of testing, say they did not follow FDA procedures. Now, Dr. Oz himself, he says he's still letting his kids drink apple juice. So, you know, and it's not like any child has gotten sick from arsenic in their apple juice, but his goal is, is to drive a conversation forward concerning long-term effects. Susan, what is acceptable levels not? And they also cut it in half. Organic arsenic, which is found in soil, ends up in food, water, even in the air we breathe, versus inorganic arsenic, which is the dangerous stuff, poison maybe found in pesticides and things like that. It gets uh, nitty gritty at the end of the day. Parents wondering, should I still give my kid apple juice? Dr. Oz is, so the answer is yes at this point. But when you hear that story, you automatically think that you shouldn't. When you hear that there mm -hmm. may be some sort of risk involved, it is pretty controversial. Mike, thanks. Mm -hmm.